Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. Over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Dan Dan the Art Man's Book Reviews, Episode 31, Sense Memory, by Brian J. Humphrey. This book dragged me into its world, then slowly unraveled its weird mysteries, pulling me along all the while with little character quirks and jokes that cracked me up. It is dark, funny, twisty, and mysterious. Seriously, guys, it's pretty awesome. I could never tell what was going to happen next in the story, and always wanted to know what was going to happen next. This is a tale spun from Brian's deep wells of creativity, offering up something unlike anything you've read before. The creative ideas in this book are inspiring. It was a little The Door to December by Dean Koontz, a little I Am Not a Serial Killer by Dan Wells, and yet very much something all its own, and unlike anything I've ever read before. It is very much in the awesome and unique voice of Brian Humphrey. For a first novel, this is one heck of a horse to come out of the gates with. I can't wait to read his next one, because he's only going to get better, and he's already a gifted writer and storyteller. If you're looking for something a little different, and who isn't, sprinkled with many of the things you love from other genre fiction books, you should grab a copy of this book. It's a fun read that keeps you turning the pages with its interesting characters, shocking action, and gripping modern story world wrapped in layers of strange treasures to unveil. I got to know Brian by listening to him co-host one of my very favorite writing podcasts, The Round Table Podcast, which I had the privilege to be on to workshop one of my stories. If you haven't heard this podcast, it is amazing and really worth your time. Heck, go on there as a guest writer and have your story workshopped. It did wonders for my story. And Brian's a cool guy, and from what I can tell, an awesome teacher too. And we need more of those. That's right. Sense memory. Yeah, that was fantastic. Well... I've got something for you. A free audiobook. It's actually not from me, but from Audible. If you go to audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews, you can start a free 30-day trial membership and get a free audiobook download of any audiobook of your choice at audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews. All you got to do is try it out, and Audible gives you an audiobook for free. Audiobooks are expensive. They take forever to make. I'm in the process of making a four-hour audiobook right now, and I'm about two and a half hours in, and it's been a lot of work. But really fun work that I really enjoy doing. It's kind of a passion. I love listening to audiobooks. That's why I am an Audible member, and I listen to them pretty much every day on my commute to and from work, or on the weekends when I'm doing yard work or doing the dishes. I just love getting to dive deep into a book while I'm doing something else, like just driving on the freeway with cruise control. I can just kind of sink into the world. And when I park, it's hard to stop because you just want to know what's going to happen next in the story. You don't want to get out of the car. <laughs> um, so yeah, check out audibletrial.com slash Dan's Book Reviews for your free audiobook. And let me recommend a book to you. It's called Shadows of Self by Brandon Sanderson, narrated by Michael Kramer. Michael Kramer is like the king of fantasy audiobooks. Uh, He did all the Wheel of Time and pretty much almost all of Brandon Sanderson's books. And Shadows of Self looks amazing. It's the fifth book in the Mistborn cycle, or the Mistborn series. I have listened to the first three books in that series with the same narrator, Michael Kramer, and man, they were amazing. Um, The fourth book is on my to-read list, and this fifth book, 
I didn't even know it was out yet, so I'm really excited to see Shadows of Self. Let's see, when was it published? It was released, oh, it's not released until the 6th of October. Today is the 4th of October, so what I'm seeing must be a pre-sale. But by the time I publish this podcast episode, it will be available, and you can go get it for free, or any other audiobook of your choice. But I highly recommend any of the Mistborn books by Brandon Sanderson. If you haven't gotten to any of them, I'd probably start with the first one. Those are in an epic fantasy setting. And then it's kind of like steampunk western. And then it just keeps going. And so I'm really excited that this book is out. I can't wait to listen to it. Because I pretty much do all my reading by listening to audiobooks. Anyways, that's all I gotta say for Audible. Check them out. And if you do, I'll get a little kickback that helps support this show. Now let's get back to that review. Oh man, Sense Memory by Brian J. Humphrey. This is um, actually available as an audiobook as well, narrated by the author. And this dude has some epic narration chops. He can read a story dramatically extremely well. It's awesome. And he does cool voices for the different characters. You can go to patiobooks.com and just search sense memory patio books in google it'll come right up and then you can get this book for free as an audiobook and then if you like it and i know you will go ahead and get the ebook just go buy the ebook i'm sure it's cheap uh you know just as a way to support the author and maybe write a review too i love reviewing books because i love books and so when i read a story that took me to a different world and took me on an adventure or scared me or thrilled me. I love telling other people about it. That's why I'm doing this podcast. I love books and I love sharing about books and talking about books. So why not podcast about it? Um, Anyways, yeah, Sense Memory. It's a very strange and awesome story. It's got a little bit of a crime thriller, kind of like supernatural It's like a whole bunch of awesome genres mixed together into one really cool story. And like I said, the narration is amazing. You can get it as an ebook too, I'm sure. Let me just double check that. Oh yeah, it's only five bucks. Uh, Here's some of the reviews. Couldn't put it down. Lost when when it ended. Like they're all sad. Great read. An unpredictable, fun, and intriguing story. Mystery, psychological thriller, mind games. It's a twisted story. It's like makes you think and I forgot about it's kind of like a psychological thriller. Um, it's a really cool story. So check it out. I highly recommend the audiobook at patiobooks.com narrated by Brian Humphrey himself. And his name is spelled B-R-I-O-N H-U-M-P-H-R-E-Y. Fantastic book. I gave it five out of five stars. And um, it is a really cool journey of this character and all of this mysterious stuff going on, causing some pretty brutal crimes. And there's one character who is a janitor at the high school. I think the main character is a teacher, just like the author. He's a teacher. Um, And his janitor, one of his friends, I think he's a janitor at the school. He was my favorite character. He's like super quirky has a really strange, funny personality. And I remember laughing a lot about when I was reading his dialogue and stuff that he says is just hilarious. And uh, some really crazy stuff goes down in the story and it was just really cool to see how that guy and the main character reacted. So anyways, great stuff. And um, if you heard that noise in the background, it's probably my son coming down the stairs. My sound studio is under the stairs. I nailed a ton of extra carpet we had into the walls and then put like four body pillows against the wall so that when I talk it's into thick carpet and body pillows so it deadens the sound. I like the sound I get. With my nice uh, AT2020 Audio-Technica condenser microphone, I'm liking my setup. Hope you guys are liking this podcast review. If you guys have any books you want me to review, just send me a line. You can find me at dandantheartman.com, but I'll let uh, Mike tell you the rest of that stuff. 
and I'll see you guys next week. I'm not sure which book I'm going to review next week, so just like the story I reviewed, it's going to be a mystery. Catch you guys later. Stay tuned at the end of the show for a promo for another cool podcast. This podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works license. Music by Kevin McLeod, found at Incompetech.com. The website that goes with this podcast can be found at dandantheartman.com. And you can follow Dan on Twitter, Google+, and Facebook at dandantheartman. For Dan, this is Mike Luoma, saying happy reading, and we'll see you next time. The Rear View Podcast is a chance to take a glance back into film history as we as filmmakers drive forward into the future of cinema and television. My name is Matt Edwards and each episode I speak with a filmmaker to discuss a film that influenced them. The landscape of this style of storytelling is ever evolving. With emerging filmmakers being influenced by their predecessors, it's important to find out what it is about these older films that strike a chord within them. The films discussed will sometimes be critical darlings, blockbuster fan favorites, cult classics, or that forgotten gem. And with the recent surge in television series that rival any Best Picture winner in terms of quality, don't be surprised if those are discussed here as well. So subscribe to The Rear View on SoundCloud or iTunes, follow the podcast on Twitter at TRV Podcast, and use hashtag The Rear View List to add a film that you think deserves a look back on, and to keep up to date with the latest reels. That's the best way to keep in touch with the show. This is The Rear View. Thanks for listening.